In 75 years, summers in Toronto could start feeling like those in Kansas. We know average temperatures in cities will rise over time because of climate change. Depending on where you live, so will precipitation levels. But do you really know what an average increase of 2 degrees feels like? What about a 10% bump in rainfall over the summer? With climate change, we need to better understand what's coming our way so we can adapt. One way is by comparing future temperature and precipitation patterns of Canadian cities with what other places in North America are already seeing. I crunched the numbers, and here's what summer 2100 could feel like with a medium emissions scenario, which is roughly where we're currently headed. Ottawa residents could experience summers like ones in Pennsylvania. And if you're in Vancouver, look to Wyoming for your future summers. All these projections come from public data sets from the UN. One thing to keep in mind, this data doesn't look at extreme weather events like hurricanes. But the experts who looked over my work say these comparisons are still a useful way to understand climate change's impact. They also say we can predict the difference between a world that emits greenhouse gases more quickly versus more slowly. To see what summers could feel like in other major Canadian cities, check out the link. And share your questions about climate change in the comments or by email at ask at cbc.ca.